we're ready to look at characters, also known as chars. And you think a string is made up of chars. A string is uh, not actually made up of chars, but you can pull out individual characters by using char at, and you can use what's called the index. So in the word banana, the first letter is at position zero. And you're gonna see this all over the place where the first thing is actually uh, numbered zero. And you just need to get used to that which is why I made our multiplication table start at zero. Let's go ahead and delete all this. Now you're gonna find out that I is very commonly used for uh, iterating on, uh, because I is a nice letter, because uh, it stands for iterator. Uh, so is, uh, J is also used very frequently. And what we're gonna do is just paste in char at zero and then let's sout letter. All right, that for loop does nothing. There's no print statement inside, so it's not going to uh, do anything. However, try as your, ah, tricky, tricky. So what happened right here? When I copied and pasted, it didn't come in as that exact string what is the char uh, at zero is a space. So let's take that space out. So it's gonna be what we thought. You got a B. All right, and we can get the uh, char at three. So what's that going to be? Zero, one, two, three. We're gonna grab that A right there. And you can change it to anything you want. Now let's get crazy. 10, what do you think's gonna happen? Well, nothing good you get string index out of bounds exception. You're gonna see this happen somewhat frequently uh, whenever your string index is out of bounds. Uh, so zero worked, but minus one, not gonna work right there. Uh, they will tell you what your actual value you tried to use is. So that's your uh, index out of bounds right there. So let's not grab an index out of bounds. Uh, you can compare chars to other chars. Now it's important that you use the single quotes right here. So let's grab that. So we're never gonna see a big A in here. Uh, we will see some small A's in here. And let's take all of this and put it inside the for loop. So instead of grabbing char at one, we're gonna go char at i. i is gonna start at zero. Uh, if I run to 10, we're gonna have problems. So let's go with six. All right, why is this good to start at zero, go to six? Uh, well, starting at zero is good because our char at starts at zero. How many letters are in banana? There are six. And you might think, oh, if I start counting at zero and stop at six, you're gonna have seven, which is true, but you're actually stopping at five. Five's the last one you're gonna stop at. So here we go, we're printing out the letter, and then if the letter is A, uh, we're gonna print out it's an A. So we got a B first, not an A, an A, it's an A. Well, it's actually an A, not an A. Uh, but close enough. So we could try to put a big A in here and you're gonna see none of them are equal to big A. So it needs to match the case as well. So we can, it's gonna seem a little strange, but you can compare letters uh, or I should say compare chars to other chars with the less than or greater than sign. So we're gonna run through this. All right, so there's a Roman alphabet. Now we started uh, at A and we went equal to Z. If you did less than Z, you would just miss the Z. You stop at Y, so we're equal to Z. I forget if little, Lowercase letters are before or after. We're about to find out. I think they're after. We'll go from big A to little z, and then we'll get, uh, this is all off the uh, ASCII, which is part of Unicode. 
And right there, there's a couple extra things, a couple extra chars in there between the big and the little letters. Uh, now we're going to look at, there's a whole lot of other ones from other languages and also symbols on your keyboard that are just symbols on a keyboard. Some of them are from punctuation and some of them are, uh, I don't know where they're all from, but they're all on your keyboard. So these are the Greek letters right here. You're going to see that some of them look exactly the same. I uh, just want to warn you, uh, it's going to run off of uh, that A looks like a regular A, B looks like a regular B, but they're not actually going to be the exact same. Uh, they're going to have a different uh, code right here. And again, you can compare right there uh, chars to integers.